losses, right? Two that the uh, Team USA took was to France, right? And in that loss, there was a lot of noise being made about the play of Frank Neil Aquina. And a lot of Knicks fans or, 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 or Frank Neil Aquina fans uh, jumping on the Frank Neil Aquina bandwagon and they were cheering and, and making a lot of his play overseas. And I'm going to tell you, bro, I'm going to tell you why we shouldn't make too much of the play of Frank Neil Aquina in the FIFA World Cup. One, it's all, not, I wouldn't say it's only, I do not want to minimize the FIFA World Cup and winning the medal at that competition. That, that's very prestigious and it should be acknowledged. But it's the FIFA World Cup. You feel me? It's not the NBA. The NBA is a different beast. You feel me? The NBA is a completely different beast. You're playing against the best players in the world every night. You feel me? Oh, that's a fact. They kill me in the Knicks groups, bro. The, the love for Frankie is real, son. But yeah, like I was saying, it's the, it's the FIFA World Cup. It's definitely a different beast from the NBA. You're playing the best players every single night. You feel me? And, and, and his numbers were mediocre, bro. Let's be perfectly honest. They were celebrating mediocre numbers, dog. Like, the biggest game that he had in the tournament was against Team USA. But they were, that's where all the noise originated from. I think he scored like 11 points, like 5 assists. You feel me? That's it, bro. Like, that, those, those are not world beater numbers, dog. Like, those are not... I agree, Michael. Yeah, those are not world beater numbers, dog. Like, that's not... They were talking like suit, like Frank is on the cusp of becoming a superstar, bro. Those are barely competent numbers from your starting point guard. From a starting point guard, that is the basement numbers. <laughs> if you're going to be a starter, starting point guard in the NBA. 11 and 5, those are basement numbers for a starting point guard. You don't want your point guard to score 11 points, 5, your starting point guard to average 11 points, 5 assists. That's, but they were, he, He's been so subpar that we celebrate mediocrity. <laughs> this is why we should not make such a big deal of freaking Frank Neil Aquina's performance because it was mediocre at best. <laughs> Fluke said that's superstar numbers for French people. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yo, but yo, and plus, right, and then and, and what worries me even more, right, what worries me even more about the noise being made about Frank's numbers and his performance is that it was only a couple of games. The rest of the games he played pretty bad. <laughs> so we have a couple of games where he played media, mediocre basketball. You, bro, you got... You you that don't mean you over the hump. Even the worst players in the NBA who get a shot have decent couple of games, dog. Cause you have one or two good games, that don't mean you're 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 on the cusp of greatness or you're over the hump, which is the slump that you were in. We've seen this before. We've seen players have great games and then disappear. We have, like, I don't want to say that Frank is finally coming into his own because we didn't see what he's going to do in the season when he's playing against top-notch talent every night. But he's going to, we got to see what he do when he plays against the the, the uh, Russell West, Westbrooks, the Steph Currys, the Kyrie Irvins. You know, that's when we make a decision what Kev, what, what, what uh, Frank Milikina is going to be. If so far, when we've seen him play against these quality players, it hasn't been good. 
being a Knicks fan, I, I honestly want Frank to to succeed because he's in the orange and blue. You feel me? As long as he's wearing those colors, I want him to succeed. But what I'm saying is what I've seen from the young man and the noise that's been made, being made from the FIFA World Cup, I feel like it's being over-exaggerated and overblown and overhyped. Bro, Frank, I don't think Frank is built for the NBA. You know what? Let me take that back. I wouldn't say that Frank isn't built for the NBA. I think Frank is built for a certain style and a certain system, right? I feel like uh, Phil Jackson drafted him solely to be the heir to the triangle offense, right? Because... Frank Neal uh, he does have his good spots and his use, his usefulness, right? Um, and I say he was the heir to the, the, the to run the triangle offense because Frank Neal plays with pace with his, within his own pace. Uh, he he's, he would be great at running an offense, uh, and he doesn't make too many mistakes with the ball. Right, so when you're running a triangle, which what he was drafted to do, right, you need a point guard that can defend, that uh, can can keep hold of the ball and make smart decisions with the ball. And I will say Frank Nikola, Frank Neil Lakina does that, right? He he makes good decisions with the ball and he doesn't he doesn't turn over the ball a lot, right? If you look at the the the, the previous point guards who ran the triangle with succession, which is Ron Harper, Derek Fisher, right? These guys weren't world beaters when it came to numbers. They didn't light you up with a whole bunch of scoring. But what they did do was protect the ball, run the offense, and play solid defense. So when it comes to Frank Neal Aquina, that's what he was, he was drafted for, right? To run the offense, play solid D, and, and not turn the ball over. And he's good at doing that. Everything else outside of that, not so much. <laughs> you feel me? Frank Neal Aquino needs to play in a system. A system that's tailored to his type of game. If you need a, a, point, if a system that needs the point guard to be the controller of the offense, right? That's not going to turn over the ball. That's the kind of system Frank Neal Aquino needs to play in. But sadly to say, the NBA is not really predicated on the point guard being the initiator of the offense anymore. Any, five, any of the five positions, if, you, if we really watch in basketball, anybody in any five positions with the talent and skill set that we are looking at in the NBA today can initiate offense, right? So you don't necessarily need a point guard to be a game manager anymore. You feel me? And that's what Frank Neal Aquino is. He's a game-managing point guard. And there's not too many teams that run a system where you need a game-managing point guard. Marlon was good. Yeah. There's not too many systems in the NBA that, that needs a game-managing point guard. And that's exactly what Frank Neal Aquino is, a game-managing point guard. He's not going to blow you away with high-value scoring. He's, his jump shot needs a lot of work, as my man Kev said. Uh, yo, Kev. Go. Oh, I'm about to. Yo, Kev. I'm about to hit you. I'm about to post the link. You got to go to nixonish.club, bro. We got a whole website where we sell this merch, you heard? We got a whole website where we sell this merch. Excuse me as I, I, I peddle this merchandise, you feel me? <laughs> uh. Oh, snap. Hold on, hold on. Typo, typo. My bad, y'all. I'm trying to hook Kev up so he know where he can get the, the, the hoodie and the rest of the merch. For for Nick's and Ish, you feel me? We got T-shirts and everything in there, Kev. I just I just hit you with the link. You feel me? Um, yeah, but the the game, yeah, 
the game, Frank Nielkina game is definitely not predicated for the NBA. The, today's NBA, I would say. Because there's not too many teams that run a system where you, the point guard, we need a game-managing point guard. Frank Nielkina does not break down the offense with consistency. Like, he, he doesn't get into the lane too often because he's not really quick. His, his, his moves are not really quick. He doesn't get in the lane too often. Uh, he's still, to me, not strong enough. Uh, and he just don't have that killer instinct, bro. Like like I said, he was brought in the NBA to run the, the triangle offense. The triangle offense is no longer in New York. I don't think he no, no longer needs to be there. You feel me? Like, I don't think he no longer needs to be in New York because what he was brought there is not there anymore. And people make such a big deal about... Um, uh, yeah, um... People, people make a um a big deal about Frank's defense, and I will say this: he's an above average def defender. One of the games that they made a big stink about his defense was in the the FIBA World Cup, in the World Cup uh, against the Team USA, and his game against Kemba Walker. Uh, like I said, I did not see the game. I don't know if the the um. Excuse me. I don't know if Kemba Walker had a bad shooting night or was it good defense, right? But when I read, um, but when I read the, the the articles and things, they only talk about really two key plays that he made on defense. They didn't really say that he shut Kemba Walker down, right? Marlon, this is fact. His, his defense is definitely overrated. I think he's um. Above average defender, but he's no he's far from lockdown. I've watched him get smoked on many a nights. You feel me? And even smoked by average point guards. I watch average point guards have career nights against Frank Neil Aquina. So I don't wanna say I don't wanna hear about his defense as him being a lockdown defender. He's definitely above average. He needs to get a lot stronger. He needs to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. He should be a lockdown defender with his build, right? You're a point guard. You're freaking you're freaking six seven, bro. Six 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 seven point guard. Long arms. You should be locking down everything. But like I said, he doesn't have that killer instinct or aggressiveness to do so. And in summation of this topic, stop guessing Frank Neil Aquino, bro. <laughs> I want him to be great because he's a Nick, but I just don't see it. Uh, let's move on to the next topic, y'all.